I feel we may have been sidetracked by the decapitation. Yeah. Yeah. It's an important part, man. All the Discord <laughs> guys were asking about what, how the hell we made this sound. If I take, take all the plugins off. Never had a lover like you, no. It's the kind of loving I do want. Settle some, settle in, love him, and I'm telling him, got a good girl and an element. Yeah. Like you could totally just leave it there and it would sound fine. But what we did is ram it violently through decapitator on punish mode. <laughs> Just adding all that nice on top, you know. If we go all the way up, it's. Never had a lover like you, no. It's the kind of loving I do want. Settle some, settle in, love him, and I'm telling him, got a good girl and an element. Yeah. But, like, why isn't that painful to listen to? Like, if you take a plucky guitar, you'll get loads of transients. If you run it through an amp on distortion, it'll actually look way smaller, mm. but it'll sound massive. So I think that's why it sounds good to humans, because it's like the sound is very even, mm. but it sounds massively fat yeah. other than that it's just mix knob you know you just pull it up until it sounds fat ray writing melodies is like it's like putting money in a machine and they just come out like all of these hooks after hooks it's so sick and you just choose your favorite one to be the chorus and you choose your second favorite to be the pre it was like watching someone just fit into the team of what we do really well jam based almost you know pretty You're much just, just humming melodies yeah and, everyone's singing until someone sings something that's so good that the other two stop yeah, <laughs> and exactly. he's like, "Oh yeah, let's use that." You know, <laughs> I only see you and I. I only compressed see a bit. I. EQ, just like pulling out some lows, about four dB dynamic EQ, pulling out some mids, a couple of resonances here that I didn't like. Can't believe you took that bit out, man. It's my yeah, you love that bit. Yeah, love that bit. Bit of a deessa, just taming the C. I only see you in. And then this, yeah, my, my classic gem dopamine trick, which boosts the high frequencies while deessing a little bit more. So it gives you all of that nice. <sighs> Put all that together. I only see you in. I. I only see you in. I. A little breathier and less <laughs> midi. A little bit more gem with a bit less compression. So I'm, yeah, I'm going pretty in on brightening this thing up. Because it's garage, there's so much high frequencies in the mix, like all of the hi-hats. You really have to carve out some highs in the vocal, otherwise the hi-hats are just going to sit right up here and the vocal's down here. Or you can just make your drums not as bright, but you don't want dead drums in garage. My favourite thing about old school garage records is they are so trebly and sometimes the vinyl itself like distorts when you're mm -hmm. listening back to them because it's just like... And I, I like that, so there's a tasteful way of doing it. We should use garage band because we make garage. <laughs> we should get off this logic hype and go back to garage band. It looks the same, same yeah. sort of layout, colours. Just loads of useless buttons. Why don't we go it's back to useless. garage band? <laughs> Layers of three. So one down the middle, one each side, left and right. So I kind of just let the reverb and effects hang over. Next one, I just did this like insane effects build up and then mute so that the drums hit like extra hard. I give in It just needed that extra BAM! Here's the harm bus underneath that. And here's the chorus. It's got a little bit of auto-tune on some of the tracks, but not all. And it was more for like the texture, to be honest, because it was... I, sometimes auto-tune does some like interesting phasey, flangey stuff, which can be quite nice. Look, there's like more rays without auto-tune than there is with. So it's not like we need to tune this. It's more of a textural thing. Like a waterfall, baby. Won't you please pour your love in over me? Won't you please pour your love in over me? All your love in over me. Like a waterfall, baby. We wanted the chorus to sound like it was just there, like it had come right up, but not totally dry. So instead of going for like a short reverb, we've gone for like a slap back delay. It's, it's yeah. a very 80s trick, yeah, you know, like, like Phil Collins would do it yeah. a lot. Yeah, you just have like a single bounce back of the vocal, like da 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 da, like that. But I've also got a little one underneath it, just barely. Please pour your love in for me. Yeah, yeah. Pour your love in for me. Uh, same with the reverb, it's on one percent, which is like nothing. Won't you please pour your love in for me? And even that, I've got the pre-delay set the same amount as the slapback delay. So mm. it's still only going, well, won't you do, please? Again, you're not really hearing it, hearing it. Your brain just sort of knows it's there. Did you get any good collabs with B-Ray yet? I'm not sure. I'm going to check today and we will definitely repost any good ones. Yeah. How do you get the vocals to line up so well? 
It's really hard, actually. Uh, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I haven't moved these at all. This is just Ray being excellent. We just did a truckload of takes until we had perfect takes. It's something that people don't do that much anymore. <laughs> yeah. People just do one and then tune it. We were like, let's tuned, just get yeah. it right. You yeah, know? like none of these are tuned. Because like, especially when there's a stack, you don't want every single one to be perfect. Because if they if they genuinely are all the same, you'll just get phasing. Yeah. Especially if you use auto-tune on each one, you get really well, weird, that's, horrible that's phasing. That's why, what about vocal line? Yeah. I personally think just sing it the same a bunch of times. <laughs> My philosophy is this as well, like, did all my favorite songs ever use vocal line or something similar? No. Personally, I just, I like a group vocal kind of moving in and out of time a little bit. Like, that's what keeps it human. Here's some of those rich harmonies. I need you to let your phone phone. Oh, baby, let me feel it all. So you can hear that bend in is not quite the same on the way up but it's natural uh, we like that stuff you know like there's one a bit flatter than the others it's getting there a bit slower than the others but like it's nice that's mm. literally how you achieve chorus detuning little bits to make this richness so yeah. when you hear maybe just two together you'll be like oh it's a bit clashy same as like if you're on the piano and you just play two semitones it sucks but then if you put in the chord around it it's like oh now it's nice mm -hmm. i kind of have the same philosophy on harmonies mm -hmm. with that you know i very rarely tune harmonies yeah the reason these harmonies are tasty is because of one harm that does a different thing um yeah yeah so that first note if it just followed the melody it would be let me feel it all but we went let me feel it all which makes the first chord have a seventh in it and that's why it sounds tasty yeah, because then it goes like really major, the yeah. second chord, because yeah, you've yeah. lost the seven. I'm pretty sure these were just recorded on an SM7 while she was sitting on the floor. I'm a big fan of recording like different sections of the song with different mics or in a different room. If you're trying to achieve a sense of changing space, which we definitely are, you know, if you're going from a single verse vocal, very clear to like a big pre-chorus with group, sometimes changing mics or changing where the mic is can help establish that vibe. Here we go. Give me something to hold on to. Jace. And we got uh, some harmonies at the end just for that one little. It's the kind of loving I do want. Settle, some, settle, and love and I'm telling him, got a good girl in an element. That bit, got a good girl in an element, is another jumping up and down fourths, which to me always makes mm -hmm. it feel more R&B. Yeah. I think my favorite melody in it is definitely the verse. I love how it jumps up fourths. In a crowded from your my decision. Thanks everybody. Have a nice day, evening, wherever you are. Peace and love. <laughs> <laughs>